in Guyana, uh, high blood pressure and diabetes are extremely high. And if you compare Guyana to other countries in the world, uh, Guyana has amongst the highest rates of high blood pressure and diabetes. And so that's why it's such an urgent problem in our mind. The two commonest uh, problems would be high blood pressure, and that affects upwards of 40% of the adult population, men and women in Guyana, and that's two times higher than for example, people in the United States. That's one risk factor, but for every single one, high blood pressure, diabetes, abdominal obesity, everything we've seen in Guyana is at least two times higher than other countries in the world. Really, we want to try and prevent heart attacks and strokes and kidney failure requiring dialysis. And we know from thousands of studies around the world that we can do that. So our goal is to try and be able to screen more and more people in Guyana for these common risk factors in order to implement treatment. And these implementing treatments include high blood pressure medications, diabetes medications, but also lifestyle advice. What are the proper foods to eat to prevent some of these conditions? how many steps per day or physical activity time should be spent. There's a lot of information we know that we can start to implement with the people of Guyana, including women in pregnancy, young children, teenagers, in order to prevent an unexpected heart attack, stroke, or need for dialysis. We have been working together since at least five years, yes. and this uh, agreement kind of formalizes that and really expands our potential for partnership in terms of training students, uh, resident doctors, and also in research. So it's formalizing what we've already been doing, and we hope it will enable us to build even bigger collaborations going forward. We really want to reach people who don't usually go in for checking. And we were having a really robust discussion yesterday about how could that be done. Could it be done at community health center, at churches, temples, mosques, or if we set up our own screening program. So we're discussing those opportunities right now. It's pretty easy to do screening with a simple blood pressure test, a few questions as well as a blood test. It's just implementing that has been challenging, and that's our next step.